Hello everybody, this is Tan Tan here and today I have a brand new figures that I just purchased to show you. So as you know, falling out from Transformer and Gunpla, I still enjoy robot toys and especially the ones that can combine and transform. So and today I would like to represent you a combining robot from a Korean cartoon series Biclon Mega Beast. To be honest with you, I haven't seen any episode of it. I just scout on the internet and I saw this and I bought it because I like the ideas of it. And here we have Biclone Cross Attacker from, from two Mega Beast machine. This is what I got from researching in the internet. And to begin with, I'm gonna go into the details of this two machine. Let's start with machine number one. So if you're watching this and if you have seen this machine previously, you know that this kind of design is similar to the, ser the Zoys series from Takaratomi and this 01 model is quite similar to the Ligers from Zoy. but looking at this tail section over here I think this is more like a wolf than a lion and the way they do color distribution on this machine is kind of randomly to be honest with you with the main color to be gray and blue a little bit of highlight of red onto the body that is maybe for the when he combines it will match with the other robot and the highlight will be the clear blue plastic up on the back and the tail the paw section has the shape of a claw which is really nice they are made from a rubbery material and painted metallically the two rear legs because they are compromised with the ability to combine so the forms of the original paw is not intact the rear thigh section has a lot of hollow section which shows that they do not really pay a lot of attention onto this beast mode looking at the beast overall you can see that they try their best to mimic the actual appearance of the beast with all his muscle strength despite the fact that some details might look not really come together but if you look at a, as a whole here the, all the details helps each other out to bring itself to a different level so shows you that this is an animal the mouth can only open for a little bit this is for because of the transformation if you look closer you can see this mode right here this is zero one and next to it is the shape of the wolf head the symbol of him articulation wise this is quite simple to be honest this is mostly to serve with the combining aspect of this one Next one we have the Zero Two model. This is a saber tooth tiger with the main color of red and yellow. This actually makes me think of a Zoid. The highlight will be the tail, of course. With the Zero One has a tail of clear blue plastic, like a eye sword. Then the Zero Two has the tail to be an exhaust pipe from a motorbike. This is some kind of like flame thrower to me. And maybe you don't know the actual fact of this series. All of these Mega Beasts are designed to mimic the off-road vehicle because what the series actually talk about is boys who ride a bicycle and then ride a robot. And look at that, we can see that all the details like the gasoline tank, the seat sections, or the exhaust pipe and the brake. This is really interesting. Now let's get to transformation. Firstly, you want to remove the tail. Straighten out the two rear legs. And at the feet, you're going to bend this detail out so it forms half of the robot leg. Then turn them around and pull them together. And we got one leg of the robot. The head section will be pulled out to be the arms. The two front legs will be folded nicely. Fold it up so high out the details for the arms. Open the mouth to bring the hand out. And we are done with half of it. Now repeat the same thing with the other ones.
then place them in an X formation at this rounded section over here and just connect all the tabs together and we've complete Cyclone's cross attacker and I'm really impressed with this robot here because it brings up the, the whole different design language to the all the robot I have seen I think up till now I have only seen one robot with the X formation like this that is the uh, robot from Super Sentai or something but this one it doesn't have the forms of lock like Transformer or Megazord but the best to talk about it will be the X formation combining gimmick that is why he has the name cross attacker the two color of this one look really nice together it forms a singularity design which is really nice to be honest with you I have seen this kind of red and blue design in quite a few shows I have seen before I think we have one in uh, Gao Gai Gao or something like that and we have seen the red and blue combining colors in Kamen Rider Bill like that and anyway it looks just really nice the face of robot based on the design of a full face helmet with a clear plastic covering the outside and if you look closer for the details you can see that the details of the exhaust pipe and earphones on the two sides of the helmet are completely different the arms detail are folded in nicely and the right arms using the saber tooth tiger to be the weapons and that is really nice the legs are designed really nice too it looks really strong with all that muscle strength the hip section with the form of a sneakers and also with the design to be always standing in a split formation so that it helps the figure to stand better the two weapon robots the two tails that can put into the back for storage combining onto the tabs of the weapon as well forming the X and looking from the front it just look really cool but one downside is the hands of the robot is quite difficult to hold this weapon because the actual holding tab is quite short but then they designed it as the open and close gimmick hand and let's get some to action and articulation his head can turn 360 this is the arm moving out having on the two sides rotatable hands This is the kick to the front and this is the split he got a double jointed elbow and like I said there's no feet pivot or anything so I mean this guy is a deluxe combining or just should I say gut tie if you're more familiar with the super sentai stuff and so the articulation of course is not one of his strength but I mean he still looks nice and I just enjoy this gimmick because to be honest with you guys I'm quite disappointed with the Super Sentai design nowadays so having this guy here is definitely a change and do I recommend these figures? yes of course if you want something differently from Transformer or Gunpla or even the Japanese kind of design you can have this one get right here he just looks really nice and there are one more from this series that is another robot that is formed by three other animals three other mega beasts so I will introduce to you guys in the next video so stay tuned for that and that will be it for today my friends so I'll see you guys later subscribe to my youtube channel and ring the bell for notifications and follow me on instagram link is in the bio below so until now